Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another house related video, that's just what I'm interested in at the moment, so that's what we're doing. Um, and I know I said at the end of my last house video about the lounge room that I'd either do the desk area or the dining room. But here's the thing, I can't find a chair that I like for the life of me, nor can I find a dining setting that I can decide on 100%. So today I am just going to do a couple of small things in three different rooms and just I don't know. It's just I just can't not do anything. So I'm doing a few little things. I've got a couple of things in the bedroom, a couple of things in the bathroom, and a couple of things in the laundry. I'm not sure if any of them are going to be complete today, but we'll work on it. So I'm going to show you what I bought, and then we'll get started probably in the laundry. So here is my little pile of stuff, neatly separated into rooms. The dog is running around going nuts because Brett just left. So sorry about that. This is for the bedroom, so I have finally have a mirror and a new bedspread, which is just white linen. This is for the laundry, and this is for the bathroom. So um, it's all just from Kmart and Target, except for the wooden scoop I bought off Facebook Marketplace um, for like five bucks. So my laundry is actually outside, um, but I prefer it that way. So this is what it looks like at the moment. It's a really small room, um, but this is the main part. So obviously washing machine, laundry basket, dish, um, not dishwashing, laundry detergent, and then just a sink. And that little shelf has like some dog things on it, which I'm going to probably either remove or clean up a little bit. Apart from that, it's empty. I usually have a clothes area there, but it's in the laundry room right now trying to dry clothes. And I have an old shirt hanging behind the door because I don't know how to make it more white. Um, and that is an old fire extinguisher which we were using to keep the door open the other day. But anyway, so that's what it looks like now. I am gonna get started. is a little bit cleaner everything's out I'm going to show you what I got and what I'm planning on doing so I got this bamboo duck board from Target I was gonna get the one from Kmart but they were sold out and this one is honestly a bit nicer anyway um, I got this glass jar and like I said this little wooden scoop from Facebook originally I was gonna put this over the sink I'm not sure if it's gonna fit and it might even look nicer just on here but we'll see I'm just gonna give it a go and then I'm gonna put all of the laundry powder in here um, and I do want a little white tray to put on this, to put that on there, just so it looks a bit nicer. I wasn't able to find one that I liked yet, um, but I'm just going to put this together and then see how we go from there. So it's nothing at the moment because I've just put in everything I had and it's, I know it's not enough. I knew it wasn't going to be and I just don't really know where to go to from here, but it does look cleaner. So I've just put the basket down there for now and I think I'm going to get like a nicer one to put here or something. I don't know. Um, the duckboard only just fits on here and like because of the tap it has to go to the side, but I think that's fine. This I love. I absolutely love how that turned out um, and I would still, I think, like to get a little tray. I took all of Charlie's dog things out of here and put them down in the cupboard. As you saw, we've got this cupboard and it's empty <laughs> because we just don't own that much stuff. Um, so I put Charlie's stuff in there. It's just like a brush, some shampoo, some clippers and some doggy bags. Um, and then on this side is a little thing, a whitening thing. And then the rest of the cupboard is completely empty. Um, so yeah, this thing, I think I'm going to keep it in here because it like the silver kind of matches on here and just ties it all in, but I don't know where I'm going to put it, whether I'm going to take it off or whether I'm going to put it here or here. And I don't know what I'm going to put in it, 
but I think I am going to keep it in here and just leave it for now. I might put something, some products in there that are like aesthetically pleasing, you know, but for now, this is the laundry done. I will come back to this after I go buy some more stuff. Just after I finished in the laundry, my camera died. So um, while I just charged the battery, I actually built the thing for the bathroom. So this is what it looks like. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was, but at the same time, I'm glad it's kind of this size. So it's just three little shelves and a laundry hamper. So let's go to the bathroom. really hard for me because half of it looks nice like the floor and the shower is like new and then the rest of it is just old and crappy and it's just like a long bathroom it's a bit weird so I'm doing my best um, I haven't got everything I need same as the laundry but I'll show you what I've done so far so at the end I have my little station so at the bottom I've got our heater our scales are hidden under there laundry hamper nice um, some towels rolled up these are just not at the towels we use I don't have pretty towels they're just boring towels and then on top here this my sister actually made for me for my birthday I don't know what's gonna stay here I'm just playing around it was in the hallway and then this I just took out of um, our bedroom again I don't know what I'm doing with it I think I need some kind of greenery in here whether it be real or fake I don't really know but I need something and if it like spilt over that'd be cool here as you just saw I had a lot of trouble with this it's much bigger than the actual space but I love it, so I've made it work. I've just folded it under, and then that's our little toilet paper holder. Moving on to the bedroom. Like I said, well, I don't know if I said that, but I'm just gonna do what I have now, and then I've reevaluate, go shopping, get what I need, like I did with the last house video. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what it's like now and what I'm gonna change. So this is what our bedroom is like. It's pretty plain, but I honestly like it that way. So we've just got our bed. We've got two side tables um, that are the same. Brett's is always messy and I'm trying to figure out a way to hide cords and stuff, but I just don't know yet. Mine on the other hand, really cute. We've got this lamp in the corner and I turn it on a on of a night. We've got our laundry basket there, wardrobe. Um, so what I've bought is I've bought a second bed cover. So this is like a really light gray with some white in it. Sorry, the dog's going nuts um, with some white in it. This is just from Kmart. It's nice, you know, I just want a second one and I've got a white linen one, so that is gonna be sweet. Behind the door though, so where I was just standing there and now looking this way, um, this is our dresser. Um, on either side is a wooden ladder thingy. My dad made both of those um, and I love them, so this is technically mine. Um, I've got a hook on there for my dressing gowns and then my one of my handbags and then Brett has a hook there which his work clothes normally hang on, but I've hidden them for now because, you know, whatever. And then, so this dresser is mainly just Brett's clothes except for the bottom drawer, which is mine, and he's obviously a child and can't put away things properly. Anyway, and then on top is just a bunch of random stuff, just my jewelry, some scrunchies. My sister did that as well. I'm gonna put it in my kitchen eventually, but um, I didn't realize this, but the hook is way higher, so I need like a much bigger frame to put that in. And then a couple of books that I just put there because, um, and then there's a hook up there, which is where I'm going to put a mirror. So this area is going to change and I'm going to change the bedding and that's it for now.
so it's too high so that's great It's now like a week or so later and I just, I didn't film anything the day after and apologies for my appearance, I'm trying to have a makeup free day completely and so this is what you get. But I thought I would try to finish up this video here because I'm not going to do much else with the spaces I've done at the moment and I just wanted to round this video out. I'm still going to put the video out even though like I feel like it's not much of a video, it's still something. I have added a few things here and there to the rooms that I did so I thought I would show you quickly what has happened um, so we can wrap this video up. So let's go to the laundry. So in the laundry, as you can see, the duckboard has moved. It, when it was over here, it actually ended up like tipping into it and just it wasn't stable, especially when the um, washing machine was going. It just wasn't a good thing. So I've kept the basket down here and moved the duckboard to the top of the washing machine and I have the jar still, which is working great. And then I actually found this dried up sea sponge on the beach the other day and I just thought it added a really cute little vibe. So I put it there um, and then over here I've just kept this little basket here. The products I want haven't been on sale yet so I haven't bought them yet. But I am still really really happy with how just that little area looks. And it's still like 10 times better than what it used to look like even though I made like very few changes. <laughs> All right, now we are in the bathroom. So I ended up buying this little soap dispenser um, from the reject shop. So these are both from the reject shop. Um, I think they're like $3 each. Um, this one's for toothbrushes and toothpaste and this has hand wash in it. I just think it makes the sink a lot cleaner. I just have two little white things over there and nothing else. Down here, it's the exact same. I've got this mat still here. It's way too big for the space and folded over, it doesn't work. So what I think I'm gonna do is put the gray one back here, but it's in the wash at the moment and then move this one like hanging over the bath and then on the ground when we need it. I still absolutely love this mat, but it just doesn't really fit there. And then at the end of the bathroom, it's still pretty much exactly the same and I absolutely love it. On top here, I've added a few little things. Just randomly, they're probably not gonna stay, but for now, I've got the spray that used to be above the toilet. Um, it just looks nice here. This is Brett's little, you know, shaving thing. This is a bit of driftwood that I got off the beach and I think it's really cute. Um, and this is just a little cement thing that I have Q-tips in. And then of course, my sister's beautiful artwork there and the towels and the heater. Um, yeah, and I still really love how this looks. In to the bedroom now and I've still got the linen sheets on there with the two little pillows. As is that Spritz tablet, excuse that. It just looks really, really fresh and it's really nice and it's actually a really good quality um, doona set. And then onto the dresser, there's me. Hey, this mirror is still leaning against. As you guys saw, it was too high. What I think I'm gonna do is get that a similar thing to this and kind of like hang it on the hook so it sits like here-ish. I think that's what I'm gonna planning on doing, but for now it's like this. I've just got some jewelry over here, my scrunchies, anklet, earrings, and a little dish. This is my little Francesca box with my bracelet that Brett got me for my birthday, a watch. Um, and on this side, I just have a couple of books and some necklaces sitting on top. I am going to get or make a um, necklace and scrunchie stand. And that way I can just put the few little things underneath it and keep the rest of it minimal. Get rid of the books. Have it very, very simple because that's what I like. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it, even though it was probably pretty lackluster I guess is the word um, but I'm just having a hard time with like the finishing touches in this house it's just nothing's going my way but sometimes that's just how the world works but anyway thank you so much for watching this video I hope you liked it if you did please subscribe because I I am trying to film and upload as much as I can but with working a full-time job and having to commute quite a long time every day it's a bit hard but I'm working on it um, so yeah thank you so much for watching please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one